Dr. Romano, are you here? Dr. Romano, in the library, I have to be quiet. Dr. Romano. Oh, there he is. Hi, Dr. Romano, am I disturbing you? Yes, but it's not gonna stop you, so come on in. Okay, Dr. Romano, I just got done with lunch. I'd like to go over a problem that I think would be a very good multiple choice question for the DAT exam. Hold and on, that's some small writing. I gotta get on this a little better, Dr. Romano. Hold on. Okay. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a two-step procedure, and this is gonna be demonstrative of what you'll see on the exam. As you can see, I'm gonna give you several choices, and you're gonna tell me either A, B, C, D, or E for the correct answer. So in the first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna oxidize it, and we're gonna get an intermediate product, and then we're gonna heat it to get the final product. So I'll give you a chance to either stop the tape and put your answers down. What do you think the answer will be? I'm gonna say C. All right, let's have a look at what, we, what we're gonna do here. So as you can see, I wrote down to you that this is gonna be an oxidation reaction first, and then we're gonna heat it. So let's look at this. If you oxidize it first, you're gonna oxidize the secondary alcohol to the ketone, the primary alcohol to the carboxylic acid. But this isn't any old carboxylic acid. This is called a beta keto acid. And any time you heat a beta keto acid, you lose Cl2, and that's the key kicker in this problem. So when you heated this up, which is, by the way, known by IUPAC name of 2-oxo-cyclohexane carboxylic acid, you heat it up to cyclohexanone and CO2. So the correct answer would be choice letter B. Oh, wow, Dr. Romano. That one kicked me in the butt for sure. Okay. Um... That would wrap up this tape. Hopefully you got a good understanding of how to do a problem in sequence. So remember, a beta keto acid upon heating decarboxylates. All right, good day to you. Okay, Dr. Romano, good day to you, sir.